my English teacher says, we shouldn't refer to authors by their first names, because they aren't our friends. Will you confirm our friendship, and let me call you Neil on my American Gods book report? Neil Gaiman. Absolutely. Men get this straight, kids movers can sexualize a fish. And have a woman fall, in love with a bee. But they can't portray gay relationships for more than 5 seconds? Kiss your dog on its witty head. That's an order, private. What if I only have cats? You give in me lip, soldier, drop and give me 50 smooches on that putty tat's forehead right now. Guys, I had one of those prophetic Obama dreams last night. We were sitting in a courtyard, watching a couple of deer, and Obama just looked at me, nodded and said, only bare your teeth, if you're willing to get blood on them, and then stood and walked over, to feed one of the deer, like, the F. I can't come up with advice that good when I'm awake. How the F do people still fall for pyramid schemes? Just don't open the fucking sarcophagus, and the mummy can't hypnotize you. Hate, when I go out in public, and the public is there. It seems the public is no longer in the public. I've won. But at what cost? I feel like a PP, but I used this to my advantage earlier today, wrote Rook Boy, in a ranked game. I typed in chat don't be racist, and an enemy got instantly kicked, because I baited him into typing something racist. Tactical. Why feel like a PP? Racists shouldn't have nice things. If your first impulse on being told, don't be racist is to do something blatantly racist, you deserve whatever happens to you. Why are the wise wizards and witches in the party always posh British people, and never like, an Australian mage? Rogue. The artifact we stole, appears to be celestial in origin. Outback mage. Tooth king right mate. Outback mage. Struth this place is chockus with ripper material components. Casting spells is gonna be a piece of piss. Magic shop attendant. Trembling. Sir, I don't speak extra planal languages. Please, just buy things and go. I was really confused the first time I encountered the expression boys don't cry, because in my experience in Finland, crying boys have been told big boys don't cry, and girls are told big girls don't cry. But by the time of my training period in a kindergarten, apparently, that has changed. These days kindergarten kids here are encouraged to take their time to finish crying, and then they can get back to playing. The kindergarten starts very early, so the kids have breakfast there. So one morning, when I was fetching the breakfast cart, and passed through a different section of a building, there were three sections with their own kids, there was this little girl crying at the entrance. I asked her what's wrong, and she looked at me, face completely wet with tears, and calmly told me that she is going to cry now, and then she will get breakfast, and proceeded to keep crying. I peeked into the main room, and asked the adults if they are aware there's one girl crying at the hallway. They said that yes, they know, that's a part of her morning routine. Every morning she gets dropped off by her parents, has a good cry about it, and then comes in to have breakfast with the other kids. Maybe the kids are going to be okay. The wildest thing happened to me the other day. I found out a male cowwalker is into Irish music, so I told him that my dad is an Irish musician and would he like to come to a session, and he straight up IRL said to me, name 5 Irish songs your dad knows. He asked me if I play, and I told him I played the fiddle when I was a teenager, but haven't played in years, and he was like, oh cool, I play drums, as in a drum, kit you know the famously folkish instrument the drum kit. B, my name is Molly oh really, you really wanna challenge the legitimacy of my Irish music involvement? I can name 5 songs with my name in them. Nature. Okay, you go to the yard, and there's a bear. Cat. I roll for intimidation. Nature. What? Cat. I roll for intimidation. Puff my fur real high and hiss. Make a few swats with my claws in the air. Nature. Dude, you could just. It's a bear. You're small. Your stealth is really good. It hasn't noticed you yet. You could just. Cat. Why do you think I made charisma my highest stat? Nature. I thought that was to mute off humans. Cat. I roll for intimidation. Nature. Sigh. 
Okay, for some goddamn reason, it works. The bear is super freaked out that something would attack it. Cat. I chase the bear up a tree and then wait for the humans to come fix my problem. Nature. I knew they'd come into this picture eventually. Reading older literature is like this sentence is literally going nowhere and you already used 50 words in it. How long does someone have to be dead before it's considered archaeology instead of grave robbing? As an archaeologist, I find this a very awkward question. Answer the question, grave robber. I built an apple in my closet, which is great and has no downside until someone comes into my room looking for me and I have to crawl out of my closet, which is frankly impossible to do with dignity and without looking like a sleepy golem hissing. What does it want? Who wakes us up? I see no downsides to this. I would like step by step instructions for how to make an apple, please and thank you. Just heard a customer two hours over go, hey, I think this is that special glass that doesn't shatter when you drop it, followed by the sound of shattering glass. I hate retail. I met a fourth grader, and her name was you, and she was like, yay, I'm named after a character from Avatar The Last Airbender, cause my parents are huge nerds, and all I said was, that's rough buddy, and she beamed at me, and I'm pretty sure I made her day, lmao. How the f can a fourth grader be named after the last airbender, that was only a few years ago, he thought, moments before the all-consuming despair at the passage of time took hold. You don't need drugs to have a good time. Do you expect me to believe that drugs were not involved here? The bean thief. Green bean. Slender, but it's bread stapled to trees, and Slender Man is having a mental breakdown. Did you mean gluten night with the boys? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What if I cut off your left leg? Would that make you stronger, would it? Other people may reject you, but if you lie on the forest floor for long enough, the moss and fungi will always accept you as one of their own. There are only two genders, goth and jock. How to be joff. Joff is a hybrid between being a goth and a jock. Ever wanted to play sports, but not be a conformist at the same time? Now you can be a jock and goth, all while being accepted. Avoid conforming. This may be easier said than done, depending. I was wrong. Finnish soldier gets separated from the rest of his unit, but he's the only one carrying the emergency amphetamines for the unit, takes too many, and goes on a one-man rampage for like two weeks straight, giving the opposing Soviet soldiers nightmares for decades. Oh, and he did it all on skis? Did he survive? Yes, during his messed up 2-2-3 week rampage, he got injured by a landmine, traveled 400 kilometers on skis, and only ate pine buds and a Siberian jay that he caught, which he ate raw. When he made it back to finish lines, he was taken to a hospital, where it was found his heart rate was nearly 200 beats per minute, and his weight had dropped to 43 kilograms, 94.7 pounds. His name was Amo Koivunen, if you want to look him up. Those are the eyes of a man who has seen God and laughed. Important distinction, it wasn't amphetamines like Adderall or Vivance or something. It was pervitin, prescription grade methamphetamine. The great thing about fandom slash internet friends versus friends you meet out IRL is that when you get to know people for the first time face to face, there's this awkward process of trying to figure out just how much of a dork they are and how much you can nerd out before you scare them off. Like, you don't wanna break out the real freaky right off. There's always the impulse to hang back a little as you try to gauge just how into a thing they are. But with fandom friends, you fking met them in the garbage heap. You knew their f***ed up narrative kinks before you even know their real name. They are screaming their passions into the void. Your friendship comes preloaded with already knowing the exact depths of each other's depravity and any ordinary people s you have in common is just a bonus. I was born with scum like you. I'm from the gutter too. My cat. Needing his blankie. 
Me, in tears. Do you even know, what good bread you would bake? Remember eating out. Remember that. Pussy or dinner. Where is the line in these difficult times, really? Me. Doesn't talk about my anxiety. My brain. We're being self-destructive. Me. Talks in length about my anxiety. My brain. Now we are being selfish and manipulative. This is why nobody likes us. And why we feel shitty. And. Hash. Feeling sad and anxious ain't great mate. For all you mountain climbers out there. Climbs up. And takes a few good slurps. While I piss on the wall. You literally did not have to say that. I didn't. A story in two parts. I don't know his name, but I see his face everywhere, and I would do anything for him. I finally have a name to your stupid face. I hate you. This is the funniest tweet I've seen in months. Bye. No, the cute baby kitty thing is hurt. This motherfucker should have stayed hurt. The true Madoka experience. Doggy. Hash. What a good dog. I hope nothing happens to him. Apparently, Doki Doki Literature Club is one of those just f***ing play it and read nothing about it games, so I'll probably check that out. About an hour in, and I'm super intrigued. It's obviously foreshadowing something, but the poems are really f***ing good. I think I share a lot of similar writing ideologies with this game. Maybe Jesus was gay the whole time, and was actually saying Amen. Stop, I should not be laughing. Imagine, if someone handed you a box full of all the items you have lost throughout your life. Hash, it would be nice to get my sense of purpose back. Oh wow, my childhood innocence. Thank you for finding this. My will to live. I haven't seen this in 15 years. I knew I lost that potential somewhere. Mental stability, my old friend. Obama will never be half the man, nor love America as much, as Reagan did. Obama will never eat as many flags throughout his presidency, like Reagan did. Reagan holds the current flag-eating record at 3463 flags during his presidency. Obama is currently only at 1072. Here we see pictured. Reagan in action during one of his flag feedings. This is speculated to be approximately his 560th flag consumed. Very ironic that this April we are stuck at home with a new popular video game that's about collecting various grist and crafting in a randomly generated world full of animal consorts. I trust Naruto bloggers. Give me your credit card number. You should never look at a horse. Wait, shh, hang on. Never kick horse in the mouth. Please, help me. It's gift. Never gift a horse in the mouth. I'm crass. You shouldn't waste your time with a loser like me. Or should you? Crass. Crass really went. Ha ha. Unless. Her eyes were the color of small potatoes. Yep. Rough. Bark. Boof. A delicate scale.